Chuck, I got another one for you. Okay. Okay, it's transparency. Okay, all right. I, I, like, all right. The, I, I like the concept. It's very important um, in a democracy. And uh, Yeah, norm- yes, yes, yes. That's, nor- that's normally the more figurative a, invocation of the term. Yes, normally the established when you government. have a healthy uh, media, you know? Yes, 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 yes. So, unless it's behind closed doors, then it's not transparent yes. by design because it would have national security implications they tell us yeah they call that that's see then then i'm then that's what i'm i'm like really no is it really <laughs> am i is it's your it, government protecting you right your are you yeah. really mm-hmm. protecting me are you really going men in black on me or no just... they don't want you to know about the aliens right right, right, right. okay <laughs> i just want a general discussion about transparency because i think it's fascinating okay, okay. so if we're in the same room and i see you uh you know, there was a day when said, well, there's nothing there, so that's why I can see you. Except, of course, there's air there. Of course. All right? So it's not that there's nothing between me and you blocking the view. Air is blocking the view, except that air happens to be transparent hmm. to the light that we are detecting. Okay. Okay? It is transparent. Air. Mm. All right. So now... When we build domiciles, homes and whatever, you want to be able to look outside. You could just cut a hole in the wall and look outside because air is transparent. But we don't. We want to protect ourselves from the elements. So instead of having air in the opening on the side of the wall, that is itself transparent to visible light. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what we call windows. Yes. Which are variations on uh, SiO2, silicon dioxide. Okay. Silicon Uh, is the active. I mean, unless you grew up, you know, not privileged, and then it was, then it was, it was polyethylene. I think you you didn't have to be privileged to have glass windows. I think oh, that's not a... Oh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Rich Guy. Excuse me. Mr. I, Mr. I have glass in my windows. Oh, excuse me, Black Trump. <laughs> What's that go? I'm so poor, I don't have a pot to piss in or a window, or a to, window throw to throw it out of. Right. That's, that's it. the one I heard. That's All right. it, man. So, so that's transparent. Right. Okay. The sun is peaks in the energy that it sends to Earth. It peaks in the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet part of the spectrum, the visible light part of the spectrum. And within that, it peaks right at the green, yellow boundary. Okay, so the sun gives more green yellow light than any other kind of light that's out there. All right. That's part of why we say the sun is yellow, except it's also giving just as much green. And no one says the sun is green. The sun is green. Right. So but it's the mixture of all of those gives us the color of the sun, which is basically white. All right. My point is, uh, how does sunlight reach us here on Earth? Because the atmosphere is transparent. Mm -hmm. Okay, but occasionally a cloud moves in. Clouds are not transparent to visible light, so they block the sun. This sounds all very basic and simple. Agreed? I'm I'm, right now. I'm with you on every step. Okay, So, so now, now, what else is transparent? All right, you are in your home. You have yeah. glass in the windows. You have I walls. I do. Like you have a roof and a floor. Okay, that's true. And then your cell phone rings. Well, uh, is your cell phone using visible light? No. No, it isn't. No, it, it's using microwaves. Right. I have a really crappy carrier, so my cell phone doesn't ring. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Okay. So Don't the go- microwaves... <laughs> The microwaves have no hesitation penetrating your walls mm. with or without the window. Okay. You could you, you could use your cell phone in a windowless bathroom. So to microwaves, which are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, your home is transparent. Nice. So if you had microwave vision, 
your home basically disappears. You might see the, the door frames, you know, depending on how it's framed out, you might see some metal wiring and things, but overall the house disappears. In the same way, when you look out a window, you're not looking at glass. The glass disappears to you. Right. It, and, and you know it does well, when people walk into that stuff in, in, in stores. I, actually, I'm, I'm looking out my window right now and I'm like, maybe I need to clean these because this glass is not disappearing. <laughs> this is straight up safety glass that I'm looking at right now. It's safety glass. No, no one is walking through this glass. <laughs> so, I. Uh, yeah, so you know what safety glass is? It's glass that breaks into a zillion tiny pieces. I didn't know that. I thought it was glass that didn't break, like, you know, basically. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Well, that, that could be a, ver- a variant on safety glass, but in cars where they say safety glass, right. when the car windshield breaks, it completely shatters into tiny little bits of glass. I, I, so no, the question I, that, is, that, that, how that doesn't make me feel safe. No, 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 but you ask, how deep into you can a tiny piece of glass go? Like the depth of the tiny piece of glass. Whereas if the windshield broke in these huge shards, yeah. it could penetrate you and and get into your heart, break your jugular or whatever. The worst you need is a bag of band-aids at the end of the broken glass of safety glass. That's all. It's uh, designed okay. to be completely it, shatter. All right. All right. Th- that version of that variety of safety glass is designed for that. Well, I okay. got you. I got you. All right. So, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the fact that to microwaves, your home is transparent. Right. Your home is also transparent to largely to radio waves. Now, if you're old school, some of our listeners are old school. And know what radio is? (laughs) Radio is, you'd go into a tunnel. If you were listening to FM, the FM signal would drop out. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to AM, it would stay. Yes. Okay. AM has greater penetration through the surroundings of tunnels than FM does. All right. So it's all a matter of who is transparent to whom. Now, let's say you, let's tune our eyes. So you have, uh, there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Below red, we have infrared. Okay. And below infrared, we had microwaves. So microwaves get through stuff. Okay. Right. But microwaves have a hard time getting through metal. Okay. The metal interacts with them. It prevents that. I learned that the hard way in my oven, but go in ahead. Your microwave oven. That's a whole nother so, story. In your microwave oven, you have a metal, so there's the, the door is made of glass. Right. Okay. Microwave goes right through glass, but it's not pure, it's not only glass, your door has this mesh on the inside. Right. Okay. And the wavelength of microwaves is like a few millimeters up to maybe a couple of centimeters in that zone. Wow. So that mesh has holes that are smaller than the size of the microwave so they can't come through. So I can see in but the waves bounce back. You can see in because you're not you're not using microwaves to see right. in you're using not, visible light using visible which goes light. through the holes. Right. But then the visible wave is way smaller than those holes. So I'm not mm-hmm. getting irradiated because the waves can't get through the holes so they bounce back into the microwave. Back into the microwave. Correct. Okay. Correct. So now let's actually, look at infrared, that was, which, it, which that's is brilliant. I'm, that's, what a simple yes. thing. That's just freaking <laughs> yeah, that, brilliant. This is why science and engineering. This oh. is what we. This is these are the foundations of civilization, right? I can't believe okay. I got a science oven. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so now let's go to infrared. So now let's look around us in infrared. You'll see things that are uh, infrared is a good measure of temperature because things will glow if they're. Glow. You, we know this from, it, you know, from Predator. We know and, it from Predator. But, but, let's from be Predator, honest. yes. Let's be the honest. Movie Predator. <laughs> That's how we know about infrared. Okay, we didn't pay attention in school, but then we saw the alien monster up in the tree, and it was making that gurgling sound like, <laughs> and it was looking at Arnold Schwarzenegger like, vroom, vroom, you know, and uh, and we saw him, you know. Damn, you remember the sound effects too? Damn, yeah, man. If it if it bleeds, we can kill it. Right, which is brilliant. Yeah, but that's it. That's that's, that's true. a br- that's the most brilliant line in the movie. So yeah. he was wrong. So you by have the way. In- 
<laughs> if it bleeds, we can nuke it. Yes, okay. exactly. Because that's, so, <laughs> that's how it died. It nuked itself. So he was. It didn't wrong. bleed to death. It, it did not bleed, it didn't to, bleed death. to death. <laughs> he blew up half the daggone jungle. Okay, because he lost first. And the predator is a bad loser. Let me just tell you that right now. I ain't never lost no game and been like that's it. I'm nuking this whole place. This whole place is going up. Mushroom cloud and all. Screw you, humans. I'm, that has nothing to do with what I'm trying to say. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going off on a predator tangent. All right. So, but you are correct. Predator has vision, uh, has infrared vision. By the way, so too did Terminator, interestingly. Also played by... That same guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, infrared, I look around. And I see things glowing. Then I try to look out the window, and I can't. It's opaque. It is opaque. Mm. And you can test this yourself. You ready? Okay. So put someone on one side of the window and have them turn on a flashlight. And the other side, they can see the flashlight. Now have someone turn on a, like a glowing. Oh, like, a, like an iron. Like an eye, you know, a, a red eye, and have them go on the other side of the window and ask if you feel the heat of the iron. Ooh. You do not feel it at all. Oh, that's so cool because glass is like an insulator. Glass prevents the transmission of heat. Yes. Wow. Okay. So glass, transparent glass, is opaque to, to infrared, infrared light. light. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, well, let's That's keep right. going. Um, how about uh, radio waves? Well, like radio waves are what you get when you go beyond microwaves. They have excellent penetration depth through everything, basically. That's why it works as communication. Otherwise, you say, I'll call you at 310, but get out in the street and face the radio tower when we're talking. That if you know, That's not what it is. Wherever you are, we can find you and we can communicate with you. Right. right. So, uh, so I'm just trying to have people broadly think about the fact that when you say something is transparent, technically you should be specifying transparent for what wavelength of light. Right. For what wavelength? Correct. By the way, you know what else is opaque to uh, what glass blocks? UV. Mm -hmm. Glass blocks UV. Glass out of the box will absorb 97% of UV that hits it. And I've done this experiment using in a laboratory, okay? Out of the box, it's a UV filter. When you buy special sunglasses that say UV block, UV, UV pr protections, right? Mm -hmm. They're getting you from the 90, if it's they're made of glass, they're getting you from the 97% it gets for free up to like 99%, okay? Oh, wow. Now, there are physicists when they were testing atomic bombs and they had high energy radiation there what they would do is they would dip behind the windshield of the jeep that drove them out there oh it would still be bright visually bright but the high energy radiation would be blocked by the transparent glass so glass blocks infrared on one side of the visible spectrum and ultraviolet on the other side of the spectrum which is beyond violet and it transmits by definition, what we call visible light. And that's what makes glass quite a fascinating thing hmm. in, our, in, our, in our culture and in our civilization. So that's, that's why Wonder Woman never gets a tan. She's <laughs> riding around in her invisible glass ship or, you know, plane. <laughs> I forgot about that plane. It's, it's some flying thing. It's a flying thing, it, but it's, we don't it's know It's a transparent really, flying thing. It's a, yeah, yeah cause I, we call it a plane, but the truth is, we, we can't see it, so we don't know what it is, to be honest. Right, you know, right. Because it's right, invisible. Right. So in Harry Potter, they had the invisibility cloak. Oh, right? that thing is cool. Okay, so here's what you do is, since you are in the way between me and what's behind you, mm -hmm. okay, I can't all of a sudden make you transparent. But you, if you, but we, we have research, such as what they had in Harry Potter, whereas you put on this invisibility cloak and what happens is the light from behind you 
hits the back of your cloak and is channeled around the front and then comes straight back out from the front of you. Wow. This is a very complicated optical pathways that the light has to take. If it does that, then my pathway goes to your chest, around you, and to the wall behind you, and I don't even know you're standing there because I don't know the light took that circuitous route because it comes straight to my eye. Wow. So I can make you transparent if the light behind you is brought around to the front of you. This was also shown in a James Bond film. I forgot which. He can make his, his, his Aston Martin disappear. Um, but really, you're just bending the light to the front. So you're bending the light around it. That's C- correct. Correct. And it means you should still be able to shoot it. <laughs> oh, okay. The bullet's not going to say, hey, where'd the car go? Right. I don't know what to do. That's funny. The bullet still has its trajectory, and it's going to be right to the target. Um, so just that was just a little, I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes talking about transparency. I liked it. Yes. And of course, the, the um, uh, uh, counselors and, and therapists have, have, you, have up taken the word. All right. Are you transparent with your spouse? Are exactly. you transparent? Okay. And transparent. that's somebody who's a, trying to, that's somebody who's trying to end your marriage. I'm letting you know right now. <laughs> okay, somebody tell you to be you. transparent with your spouse. <laughs> they are trying to end your marriage is what they're doing. <laughs> Every good marriage is built on a healthy lie. And people should know this. <laughs> this is Chuck's advice. For the it's, a, it's a healthy lie that that saves every marriage. Okay. Okay. You don't, listen. Thank you, Chuck, for your expert. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just saying. I've been married. For I'm just saying. I'm tw- just saying. I've been married 24 years, and I would never. I tell her that she looks just like the day I met her. That is what I tell her. <laughs> Girl, you look just like the day I met you. Oh, look at, oh, look at you. You look just like the day I met you. And now, I am lying through my teeth. I am lying, is what I am doing. This is, there's Did you see that Geico commercial? Did you see that Geico commercial with Abraham Lincoln and, and Mary Todd Lincoln? And, um, you know, it's an old video footage. Of course, we didn't have... Vi- video back then right? right in lincoln's day so right. but it's 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 oldie old time right you know it's black got, and white right. s- sepia tone right so he says um was uh can abe lincoln lie that was that was the setup right right and so abe lincoln's just there in his office and mary todd come in comes in with a new dress and she said does this make me look fat <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, abe lincoln says oh god uh, uh, and he doesn't answer, <laughs> and she runs out of the room. It was, <laughs> See, honesty. That was the time to lie. Is that what That's you're saying? The time that to lie. The time. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this has been yet another Star Talk explainer. This one on the transparency of all that's around us. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. Chuck, your personal comedian. Can I call him <laughs> my personal comedian? Yeah, I was going to say not theirs. <laughs> No, not there. Until next time, keep looking up. <laughs>